Today we're going to be checking out the Razer Naga Pro V2. Now originally the Naga line was meant to be an MMO mouse, but this one here has three detachable siding pieces that allow it to be used as an MMO mouse, a MOBA gaming mouse, and the FPS shooter mouse. Now before we get into the details of the mouse, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Sparkify. Sparkify is a giveaway tool that pulls in giveaways from all over the internet. Whether it be Instagram, Twitter, or random companies' websites, Sparkify is going to find giveaways from all over the internet bring them into one place and gives you the opportunity to cherry pick your favorite giveaways so go ahead and visit sparkify.co create your free account and start winning some dope prizes okay so let's actually cover the sidings now so how do you actually take a siding piece off and swap it to another piece so it's actually really simple these are magnetically attached and on the bottom of the mouse there's like a little indent that you can stick your fingernail into and you just comes right off just like that, very easy. And it has a good grip, so it's not gonna fall off in the middle of gaming. It kind of took a little bit of effort for me to, to actually remove it. So that's how simple it is. And you can go ahead and quickly swap it out from MMO to MOBA, boom. And just like that, this one is on and you're ready to go MOBA mode. And then same with FPS mode, you can just swap them out. And just like that, you have a different mouse made for a different style of game. So I really like the fact that they come with three different sides because Maybe you're not just a hardcore MMO gamer. Maybe you're into like a little bit of MOBAs on the side and then maybe you play FPS every once in a while. That's also another good reason to get this mouse is if you're not sure what mouse you wanna get, this is gonna be good because you can always just swap out the sides based on whatever style of game you're playing and you're always gonna be using the best mouse for this genre of game that you're playing. So let's talk about the build quality of this mouse. This thing is made fully of plastic and it has a matte finish to it with a little bit of grain and texture, which is gonna allow for you to have a more ergonomic and better gripping experience. And then the mouse wheel itself, it's made fully of rubber with a lot of uh, little indents on there, little texture that allows you for your finger to grip it easier. And then on the back of the mouse, they're gonna have uh, a few different uh, buttons here and what you're going to have is you're going to have a bluetooth mode or a usb dongle mode so depending on how you want to connect the mouse you can switch it based on that i would recommend using the dongle if you can just because dongle naturally is faster than bluetooth bluetooth will still be fine but there's going to be a little bit of a delay there and then there's also going to be a little round ring on the bottom it, basically what you do is if you twist this this little bit comes off and there's uh, there's some pins exposed on the bottom of the mouse. And what those pins are for are the charging stations that Razer also sells amongst their mouse product line. Instead of actually charging the mouse through the front, which um, requires a cable, you can just simply place your mouse down on their charging station and you don't have to have any wires involved with your mouse. So in terms of battery life, this mouse is gonna last you up to 150 hours, which is about a few weeks of usage. Now the clicks themselves are actually not regular like membrane type clicks. These are actually mechanical switches on the mouse clickers. So it's kind of like how you type on a mechanical keyboard, not to that extent, but like in a smaller, minier mouse version. So. If you actually click it, you can feel like this mechanicalness to it. I know that's very vague and not really specific, but it feels like there's some tactileness going on every time you click and you can really feel when that click registers. And this is kind of what it sounds like, a quick sound test for you guys. And then here's the scroll wheel. Can't really hear that. And then here's what the buttons sound like on the side. And then if we swap from the MMO to the FPS side, here's what the side button sound like. And then if we swap from FPS siding to MOBA siding, here's what the side button sound like. So aside from this mouse being designed for three genres in gaming, it also has a really cool scroll wheel that's customizable in the software. You can adjust the sensitivity of it on how hard it is to actually scroll, give it more tension, and you can also adjust the bumpiness of it in the software, which is gonna feel, you're gonna feel the clicks as you scroll, like click, 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 or you can do it like very fine and smooth where you don't feel any of the clicks as you're scrolling, like any of the bumps. And then the scroll wheel is also gonna have a left tilt and a right tilt, which allow for even more customization via the software with the mouse. 
Now, in terms of the weight of the mouse, I would say this is definitely more on the heavier side. If you compare it to the other Naga mice lineup, this is definitely the heaviest of them all. If you're someone who really likes their lightweight mouse, this is not going to be a good option for you. You might be better off just buying the Razer mouse that just comes without the detachable piece, but the actual mouse with the siding that you need. Gripping style on this mouse is going to be a palm grip, and it can also be used in a fingertip grip. And basically what that means is palm is when you put your palm on the back of the mouse here on the top and then your fingers just kind of lay on the mouse and it, you know, just feels natural like that. And then the fingertip grip is going to be when your fingers kind of go hover above the mouse and your palm doesn't really rest too much on the mouse. So you can use it like that as well. And then you can also do like a claw grip on this thing, which is when you grab the mouse on the sides, kind of like this here. And you know, you can also use it like that. Everybody has a different gripping style preference, but I would say with this mouse, you can use pretty much any gripping style. One thing to keep in mind though, is with the MMO attachment, the one with the 12 buttons on the side, it's gonna be harder to do a claw grip because of the buttons here. So you might accidentally start mashing these buttons in if that's a style of grip that you use. So I'm not gonna be covering the software fully in this video, but if you want to see me play with the settings with all of the detachable pieces, go ahead and subscribe because that's my next video I have coming up. And we're gonna run through the software, all the settings on the Razer Naga V2 Pro. So if you're someone who wants a mouse that has a lot of customization settings, whether it be the scroll wheel, the different siding attachment pieces, the Razer Naga V2 Pro is gonna be perfect for you. If you're interested in it, be sure to check out the product with my link down in the description below. And with that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button and leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.